lesson is going to be on how to solve word problems and write number sentences. This is going to be a first grade lesson. Let's take a look at some of the key words that we'll see in a subtraction number sentence. Some of the key words that we'll see are less and how many are less. And if we take a look, here is an example of a subtraction number sentence. And you're going to notice that 6 minus 2 equals 4 is a subtraction number sentence and that uses a subtraction sign or a minus sign. Let's take a look at some word problems. Sarah had six apples on the table. She ate two of them. How many apples are left? Let's go ahead and circle our two numbers, which are six and two. And then let's look for our key word. And we can see that our key word here is left. And that's going to let me know that this is going to be subtraction number sentence. So, put my subtraction sign. I'm going to start with six because we always start with the largest number first. So six minus two equals seven. And here I'm going to use my diagram to help me solve this problem. I have six apples, and Sarah eats two of them, so I'm going to take two away, and I have one, two, three, four apples left. So six minus two equals four. There are two less ice cream cones than hamburgers. How many ice cream cones are there? Okay. I'm going to highlight my number, which is two, and then I'm also going to look for my keyword, and my keyword is left. If I pull down my screen shade here, I can see that I have six hamburgers. I know that this is going to be a subtraction number sentence, so I'm going to put my subtraction sign here. Start with my largest number first, so six minus two equals four. And if you notice, if I pull down my screen shade, there are four ice cream cones, and it is two less than the number of hamburgers. Now let's take a look at addition number sentences. There are some key words that we're going to need to learn today. More, all together, and in all. And if we take a look here, is an example of an addition number sentence. Three plus four equals seven. And you'll notice that it equal, uses an addition sign, or plus sign. There are two more bananas than strawberries. How many bananas are there? So we know that one of my numbers is there's two, and we also see the key word more. Okay? So I have three strawberries. I'm going to match up the number of bananas with my strawberries. And then I know that there's going to be two more. So I'm going to add two more to my diagram here. Okay? So I know that this is going to be an addition number sentence because I see the word more. So I have two plus the number of strawberries is three equals my number of my bananas. And I can see I have one, two, three, four, five bananas. So two plus three equals five. Two dogs were playing in the park. Four more dogs joined them. How many dogs are there all together? Use my highlighter to highlight my two numbers, two and four. And then I'm going to look for my keyword, all together. Okay, and that's going to let me know that this is going to be an addition number seven. So I'm going to use my number 2 plus 4 equals my answer. And if I look here, I'm going to add 4 dogs to my diagram here. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 dogs now in the park. So 2 plus 4 equals 6. Okay, let's take a review of some of the key words that we'll be seeing in number sentences. Less, if we see that word, we're going to know we're going to have a subtraction number sentence. All together, we're going to use an addition number sentence. And how many are left? We will have a subtraction number sentence. And how more? We see that by itself. We know that it's going to be an addition number sentence. So these are some of the key words that we'll be using when we solve word problems.